Okay, so I'm going to quickly run you through how to make some um, cleaning wipes, just multi-purpose cleaning wipes. Um, all you need is some really thick um, paper towel, a glass jar, which I got from the cheap $2 shop. You can get them from most of them. Um, some water, some witch hazel, some cleaning vinegar, and three oils, which I like to use. Um, these three, I've just got the lid off that one. Um, on guard. Oregano and wild orange. So I like these for um, the on guard and the oregano for uh, and the wild orange as well for the antibacterial properties. So you can use whatever oils you like, but they're my favourite. Um, and so what we do is we've popped um, a cup of water into um, our measuring jug. Then I've added a cup of vinegar also into that. From there, I'm just going to add one drop. Of oregano, 10 drops of on guard, ten drops of wild orange, excuse the fighting in the background. The joys of working at home. Okay. Um, one tablespoon of witch hazel. I'm just gonna guess this because I forgot to bring my tablespoon. <laughs> and then we're just gonna give it a good mix. So while that's just sitting, I have taken um, some of my paper towel out um, of the roll because it's quite a, sorry, don't have any more it's quite a bit thick to put into there. So I've just got some here which I am going to pop into the middle of that. So we just take off the lid. This is going to be a bit hard not to show this. I'll just see if I can get it down. So you've got to force um, the paper towel in. Sorry, this is the only hard part of it. Um, once you sort of get used to it, you it's not too difficult. And as with anything that you're making yourself, you can't just expect it to be as convenient as your um, store bought. But just think about it. It's harder to get to the shop than it is just to do this. So. Just nearly got it all in. Okay. So I'll pop that in. And then I'm just going to put this extra down the middle. And then I'm going to pull out, if I can get it, the middle bit. Some of them are stuck in, so just be mindful when you buy them. I just, um, this one is stuck in, but I loosened it off a bit before, um, before I put it in. I might need to stand up. <laughs> I didn't loosen it off enough, clearly. <laughs> so there you go. So that's all in, a little bit of brute force. But can you give me one more minute? Then we're just going to add one minute our oils to it. I've just left a little space. Okay, I'll help you. It goes around the other way. So I just leave a bit on the bottom so it soaks down to here and then I'll push um, I'll push the paper towel down. So I'll just put it all in. Just spread it around nice and evenly. and I'll just push that down okay and see how it's starting to soak up from the bottom so I just leave that for a little while um, and let it sit but I'll just show you you just grab the middle piece here and there you go where you go it's a piece of paper towel it's, it's a bit scrunched up because I haven't let it um, all soak through but usually when you let it all soak through it comes out this one's a little bit wet, as I said. I'll just squeeze some of that back in. But once it all does absorb through, this is your wipe and wipe down the table and see, it's still intact. Perfect. So just a nice, quick and easy way to um, make your own wipes. I hope you enjoyed it. And, um, oh, sorry, I forgot to add. If you um, want to get your hands on these beautiful oils or want to know more information, contact me or visit www.mummynatch.com.au and... Um, how to purchase doTERRA essential oils that's on there.